Hello there. Today let's mind map. Variances. Before going further let's look at a summary on variances. Broadly variances are divided into sales variances and cost variances. Sales variances. Sales variances are not recorded in a standard costing system of cost accounts, cost ledger. They are included in variance report, operating statement, to management. They help to reconcile the actual profit with budgeted profit. Types of sales variances are Sales price variance Sales volume variance Cost variances The method of calculating cost variances is similar for all variable production cost items, direct material, direct labor, production overheads. A different method of calculating fixed production overhead. The total cost variance is the difference between actual and standard variable cost of production. However, total cost variance is not usually calculated. Instead it is calculated in two parts. Cost variances are adjustments to the profit in an accounting period. Favorable variances increase profit. Adverse variances reduces profit. Types of cost variances are Direct cost variance, and Indirect cost, overhead variance. Direct cost variants are further classified into Direct material variants, and Direct labor variants. Indirect cost, overhead variants are further classified into Variable production overhead variants, and Fixed production overhead variants. Direct material variants. Total cost variants. The total direct material cost variance is the difference between actual material cost of actual units and the standard material cost of actual costs. Standard material cost of actual production. Actual units produced multiplied by standard kg, units multiplied by standard price per kilogram or unit. Actual material cost of actual production. Actual units produced multiplied by actual kg, units multiplied by actual price per kilogram or unit. Price variance. A price variance measures the difference between the actual paid for material and the price that should have been paid. Standard material cost of actual production. Actual kgs purchased multiplied by standard price per kilogram or unit. Actual material cost of actual production. Actual KGS purchased multiplied by actual price per kilogram or unit. Usage variance. A usage variance measures the difference between material that were used in production and materials that should have been used. The difference is measured as a quantity of materials. This is converted into a money value at the standard price for material. Usage variance is calculated as, standard price is multiplied by, the difference between the standard quantity and actual quantity. Usage variance is further classified into, material mix variance, and, yield variance. Material mix variance, is calculated as, standard price is multiplied by, the difference between total actual quantity at standard mix, and, total actual quantity at actual mix. Yield variance is calculated as, standard cost is multiplied by, the difference between the standard output at actual mix, and, actual output of actual mix. Direct labor variance. Total cost variance. The total direct labor cost variance is the difference between actual labor cost in producing units and the standard labor cost of producing those actual costs. Standard actual cost of actual production. Actual units produced multiplied by standard hours slash units multiplied by standard rate per hour. Actual labor cost of actual production. Actual units produced multiplied by actual hours per unit multiplied by actual rate per hour. Rate variance. A rate variance measures the difference between the actual wage rate paid to per labor hour and the rate that should have been paid. It looks at the hours paid. 
calculated as actual hours multiplied by the difference between standard rate and actual rate. Efficiency variance An efficiency variance or productivity variance measures the difference between the time taken to make the production output and the time that should have been taken. The difference is measured in hours and converted into a money value at the standard direct labor rate per hour. It looks at the hours worked. Calculated as standard rate per unit multiplied by the difference between standard hours and actual hours. Idle time variance is a part of efficiency variance. Idle time variance. Idle time variance is a part of efficiency variance. Sometimes idle time might be a feature of a production process, in that case the expected idle time might be built into the standard cost. If idle time is not built into the standard cost, the idle time variance is always adverse. Calculating the idle time variance will affect the calculation of the direct labor efficiency variance, if idle time occurs but is not recorded. Idle time not part of standard cost. If idle time is not included in standard cost any idle time is unexpected and leads to an adverse variance. Direct labor idle time variance is calculated as Standard cost per unit is multiplied by the difference between actual hours paid for and actual hours worked. Idle time included in standard cost. Include idle time as a separate element of standard cost so that standard cost of idle time is a part of total standard cost per unit, or allow for a standard amount of idle time in standard hours per unit for each product. The standard hours per unit therefore include an allowance for expected idle time. Variable production overhead variance. Total cost variance is the difference between standard cost actual units multiplied by standard hours per unit multiplied by standard rate per hour and actual variable production overheads expenditure variance it is the difference between actual variable overhead spending in hours worked and what the spending should have been standard rate similar to a material price variance or a labor rate variance it is calculated as Actual hours multiplied by the difference between standard rate and actual rate. Efficiency variance. The variable overhead efficiency variance in hours is same as the labor efficiency variance in hours, excluding any idle time variance, and is calculated in a very similar way. As standard rate multiplied by standard hour and actual hours. Fixed production overhead variance. The amount of fixed production overheads represents production overheads absorbed into production cost at a standard cost per unit produced. The amount of fixed production overhead absorption rate is a function of the budgeted fixed production overhead expenditure and volume. The total fixed overhead variance is the total amount of underabsorbed or overabsorbed overheads. Total cost variance is the difference between budgeted cost actual units produced multiplied by for eight and actual cost actual overheads incurred expenditure variance is the difference between budgeted for and actual for volume variance can be measured in either units of output or standard hours it is calculated as standard cost multiplied by the difference between budgeted production and actual production volume variance is further classified into efficiency variance and capacity variance efficiency variance same as labor and variable production overhead variance in hours worked or allowed it is calculated as standard rate multiplied by the difference between standard hours and actual hours capacity variance it is calculated as standard rate multiplied by the difference between budgeted hour and actual hour excluding idle time sales variance total variance is the difference between budgeted contribution and actual contribution price variance 
Volume Variance Volume Profit Variance Price Variance It is calculated as Actual units sold multiplied by The difference between the budgeted contribution and actual contribution Volume Variance Volume Profit Variance It is calculated as Standard Contribution or Profit per Unit multiplied by The difference between the budgeted volume and actual volume Reconciliation of budgeted and actual profit, operating statement. Operating statement reconciles profit between budgeted and actual by reporting all the variances to management, showing the difference between budgeted and actual profit. Arise because of sales variance and cost variance. Format. For absorption costing, and. For marginal costing. For absorption costing starts with budgeted profit sales variance as listed next and then cost variances the total variance is whether favorable or adverse added or deducted from the budgeted profit and the resulting profit is the actual profit for marginal costing starts with budgeted contribution sales variance as listed next and then cost variances the total variance is whether favorable or adverse, added or deducted from the budgeted profit and the resulting profit is the actual profit. Thanks for watching. More stuff coming soon.